What's going on, boys and girls? Get ready for the Brooklyn Teddy Podcast. Oh yeah, here we go again. Welcome to the Brooklyn Teddy Podcast. Wait, who's Brooklyn Teddy? Oh yeah, he's just a Brooklyn guy with a wife, a kid, tattoos, and a podcast. Trying to figure it out and enjoy life. Welcome to the Brooklyn Teddy Podcast. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for downloading the Brooklyn Teddy Podcast or watching it on YouTube or whatever whatever way you, you get to listen to this awesome podcast. So what's been going on? How you guys doing? How you guys doing? Huh? Holy smokes. Uh yeah, uh, I, I get. I gotta talk about it. You know, come on. This is this is just unraveling into the most insane thing ever, right? Um, come on, Trump, Trumpy Trump. Holy shit! What the fuck? <laughs> <clears throat> Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? Holy smoke! So, uh, uh I, I have to go through it because uh, this this is the craziest uh, thing. Uh, you know, you know, uh, like I like like I said, it's like, this is like the most bizarre reality show. And I said, unfortunately, it's a uh, real life. Um. So the the weird timeline of what's going on with uh, Donald Trump, uh, his connections with Russia, and there was a uh, an interesting uh, a video on YouTube put out by I think the the, uh, the publication or the the organization is called uh, Kembla. I'm pretty sure that's it. I'll post it out there on BrooklynTeddy.com, uh, good old BrooklynTeddy.com, where you can find the other Brooklyn Teddy podcasts and you can help out the podcast there, Patreon site, you know. Uh, help out for at least uh, for the minimum of one dollar, you can help out the Brooklyn Teddy podcast. But anyway, I put that up there, so it kind of uh, reiterated what I what I kind of uh, thought from and from other people. You know, of course, listen, uh, Donald Trump uh, is a shady uh, real estate guy. Okay, <laughs> uh, you know, in the nineties, he had like uh, six different uh, uh, bankruptcies, and like I said, when I was in uh, Vegas, he was putting up a hotel, and I think he, his ex wife uh, Ivana was. Uh, putting up a uh, some kind of uh, housing complex or some kind of luxury thing right across from the stratosphere <coughs> which which if you've been in Vegas right there that little corner right there I don't know how it is now but back in the day yo that was a hot corner it had the world's biggest the world's biggest gift store was there which is gone now who knows what's going to happen there but anyway Stat went back I- I- Ivana Trump went uh, bankrupt she probably learned from old Donnie and they went and he went bankrupt and bank tr- bankrupt and, uh, of course, nobody would loan this uh, pile of garbage uh, any money. And it looks like he turned to the Russians, of course. And so this is way before, you know, uh, President Trump. <laughs> How the fuck can, can you even believe it? It's still, it's still, <coughs> what is it, 100 and whatever days. But anyway, it's just been clusterfuck after clusterfuck. And, uh, yeah, so then we have the uh, amazing firing of Comey, which is uh, in, in crazy. And then uh, that, little, that little weasel, uh, Jeff Sessions, uh, how does he? He's recused from the investigation, but him and the uh, the deputy AG, they. Um, I'm gonna try to stop the ums. I, I ummed it up the last one. I'm gonna try again. Okay, I'm gonna um reduce the ums, and the the deputy AG. Uh, there you go. Another uh. They wrote up this memo to have uh, Comey exit. So they exit him uh, right at the beginning of the, the big investigation. That's smart. That's really smart. So then, of course, uh, er, uh, you know, everybody goes, what the, what, what's going on here? What's going on here, Trump? You fucking asshole. Well, you fire the guy that's in. OK, all right. Oh, he's not doing his job. He was mean to Hillary. All right. <laughs> what? As you can tell, the allergies are still here. It's going to be uh, like a 90-degree uh, day or plus here in the tri-state area. And, uh, yeah, so air quality. Watch out, people. Uh, cover your noses, whatever. It was some air quality um, concerns going on. But, anyway, the allergies are still kicking. Sorry if I have to cough. But, hey, listen, I'm bringing you the Blue and Teddy podcast. Listen, I'm not perfect. What can I tell you? So, anyway, um, so now uh, that whole did you see that horrible? The, there was that horrible thing with Trump, and he's on the news, and they goofed it on on, on SNL a little bit, uh, where he's like talking to whatever that guy is that that dude. I forgot whatever. Anyway, you can look it up. What was it? NBC or whatever. He's doing the, and he's saying, "No, I, I, I'm the one that decided to fire him because he wasn't doing a good job." Ha ha ha. So Comey's out. He's like, you know, fuck that. I bet you he's like sitting home going. 
He's probably got. He's probably got money. He's gonna get a, another like super duper job. He's former FBI guy. Like, what? Forget it. I mean, who knows how much money he has invested in things? But anyway, that's another story. And so, uh, so good old Donnie uh, fires him. Like, you know how how smart can you be? Holy shit! What a fucking he, he thinks he's he thinks he's still like uh, in you know that shady fucking real estate shit where you could kind of like do anything and hide it in the carpet and you know get some just get fucking ass. Anyway, so he does that. Okay. And then he says, tweets out some bullshit about, oh, that, that he, that he, uh, alluding to the fact that he might have tapes. Oh, okay. <laughs> what a fucking idiot, man. This guy's so stupid. I don't know. I don't, and, and listen, uh, I was talking to somebody about this. And listen, uh, okay, so talk, whatever that percentage now of maniacs or insane, whoever, like, you ever have to be out of your mind to uh, still be, be cheering this guy on uh, or paid. You got to be paid. Uh, you know, I think a lot of those people, you see those people, Behind Trump when he has those rallies, I think they, you know, get a little cash. Oh, they're crazy. Because I would have a lot of questions. I would have a lot of questions for uh, good old Trump there. So anyway, uh, so he fires Comey and he, he, he loses to those tapes, which is, which is fucking what the fuck? Okay. So then the constant questions are like, oh, so what's up with those tapes? What's up with those tapes? And you see Sean Spice like, what the fuck? Ah, guy, 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 guy. He doesn't know. Uh, oh, yeah. And then the famous... Uh, what was uh spicy was uh by the bushes in the bushes <laughs> come on man this is a fucking comedy show i don't get it this is crazy uh and then snl didn't really do a good job i i i don't know i think they could have done a better job there was something uh i don't know missing i guess they didn't go for the gusto i don't know i watched the the, the cold open was uh was pretty good uh but i don't know they they could have really worked on that uh that whole spicer thing i don't know it seemed a little, a little. They, they had a lot more ground. Well, I guess they decided not to milk the the cow. But I guess the, I don't know. It's basically the comedy that SNL is being written for them by Trump. <laughs> they should hire him as a writer. <laughs> yeah, and you're gonna hear, you're gonna hear a little coming out weird gaps in the thing. I, I'm gonna I'm in a minute. I'm gonna have to use my own version of a cough button because yeah, the cough button, the cough is the coffees are coming. The cough are coughers. <laughs> anyway, sorry about that. So where was I? Oh yeah, so they, yeah, so they hi, should hire Trump as <laughs> just a permanent writer. Uh, anyway, but it's just it's insane. So then there was that weird thing when he has the Russians in the Oval Office and they they trick him. They trick old stupid Trump. Oh uh, yeah, he's one of our you know uh, a, a profession. And then it turns out to be some somebody from a news agency. Remember? And then he divulges some information. And then he has you know H.R. McMaster ruining his fucking reputation, lying for schmuck. Oh, whatever he said, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't that bad. Blah, blah, blah. And and then it's divulged that uh, Israel, the, where the intel came is from Israel, so he's jeopardizing people there. And then the final blow here is, oh, yeah, because in that, in that interview, he claims that uh, Comey, have you seen Comey? I, I didn't realize that guy's like a giant. Holy smokes. He's like, what, six foot ten? I don't know. He's like, you saw, I, I, I never saw that footage where he comes on and shakes Trump's hand. I was like, holy shit, this guy's a, <laughs> he's like Peter Steele height. Holy shit, grow some long hair, man. You got a new career. And he's got that, no, he doesn't have that deep voice. He has that. But anyway, and uh, Trump uh, wanted him to be, you know, hey, hey, you know, play ball. You know what I'm saying? He thinks he's doing it. I, I, he thinks he's fucking stealing real estate. Come on, we'll make a deal, you know. You, you know, listen, uh, I'm not under, under investigation. You know what I mean? Come on, am I under investigation? Listen, you know that Michael Flynn guy? Who did all this shady shit, shady shit with the Russians, and then didn't tell anybody? And then meanwhile, I'm getting tons of money from the, you know, just you know, forget about that investigator. He's a really nice guy. So that brings me to, um, you know how um, uh, uh, <laughs> Attorney General Sessions, Bo Regard, Bogey over here, uh, he wants to give uh, people like the, the whatever the maximum. Uh, uh, Maximum, maximum penalty for crime. So I hope this reverses back and goes right back to you and bites you in the ass. Because actually, isn't isn't Sessions also involved in this Russian thing? They gotta crack this shit open. But I don't know. All these motherfuckers, they get away with shit. They're gonna, I don't know. Something's gonna happen, and they're gonna slide through. And if they do impeach him, it's, it's just a fucking mess. You know what I mean? If I, I didn't like fucking Trump before he was president, come on, you fired. He's fucking. Just a garish fucking illusion of a fucking human being, you know. Listen, I, 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 I'm listen. I'm not. I'm fucking. I'm a fucking high school dropout. I fucking made my way through the world the way I am. 
I, but this guy looks like, and I, and I have to question. I go, am I a genius? No, it's just Trump is so stupid. I go, how the fuck do you like? How do you think? What you know? What is? It's like this bombastic. Like he thinks he's the king of the world. Yeah, and I can do whatever I want. I'm the president. I won. Duh. Fuck you. You're a moron. Holy shit. You should be fucking. You should be kissing the ground. Say, how the fuck did this happen? Let me lay low. Let me figure out. But no, rah, rah, rah. And doing the stupidest shit. And then you promised all this fucking horrible shit to people. <laughs> what a fucking jerk. So it looks like the whole, his little kingdom of shit is just fucking collapsing right before his fucking eyes. Then they, he, he's off somewhere now. I haven't seen any recent tweets. So they probably have him sequestered somewhere. And that motherfucker must be seething. He's like, I can't tweet. Look at all the shit that's happening. I'm gonna, and he's, he's going on some religion. He's going to go visit is, or Israel. Oh, great. The, the guys who just ratted out to the Russians who's going to tell Iran whatever. I don't know. It's just so, all of it is just, come on, man. Come on. This guy doesn't know. He doesn't know where he is. He, thinks he, uh, he still thinks he's doing fucking shady real estate deals in New York, you know, and whatever around the world. He's, you know, a fucking asshole. The whole thing, the whole thing fucking stinks. But anyway... Listen, I get it. I get it. I get this part. I get the part of, you know, we need to change. You know, Hillary was no fucking bargain, but she fucked over the the DNC fucked over Bernie. Okay, uh, which is he's still like you know, head and shoulders above, regardless of the socialist you know, tag name and all that, whatever the fuck that is. You know what I mean? At least Bernie, whatever his his shortcomings, or you you think like, oh, he's not gonna. It's just way too much and whatever the fuck he's talking about there, and you think, oh, it's just, it sounds a little too socialist. He's at least a reasonable man. We could temper him. This guy's a psychopath, you know what I mean? Come on. President Cheeto here, this is, this is not, this is going, forget, he looks, he looks tired, he looks bad now. He looks, uh, he's like, oh my God, I can't, I can't, I can't pull the wool all over everybody's eyes anymore with all that bullshit, all that bombastic shit. And he went. He went to places. Yeah, you know, people are disgruntled. I get it. Listen, I, and I was also thinking about. I, I go and, and I think I've heard this before. And it, it's almost it's a sad thing that this is what's going on in our country, and we're a laughing stock, basically, to the rest of the world. Like, look at this fucking buffoon. And and I guess the the biggest thing is it just expo. It's just exposing. You know, not only uh, like. And I guess I guess there was this guys, and it kind of went too much, you know, too much, quote unquote, to the left. You know what I mean? Like, oh, and you kind of felt like, you know, this racism, but it isn't. What it, and then all those cop shootings started happening, and da da da, and the cops, you know, shooting the 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 black people, and then the whole thing went over the news, and everything went crazy, and ah, but it just exposed how much more fucking racism and the shitty shitty thing that's going on in this, just and like this, just like. I don't know, just bathing in the unintellectual, just being like, Ugh, I'm so stupid, and it's okay to be stupid. No, fucking go out, learn something, man. Stop going for the rah-rah bullshit of a politician, first of all, okay? And then this whole coal mining thing, that's not going to save anybody. All it's going to do is make create more pollution, and come on. We're in 2017, stupid, you know? It's just it's just a sad sad thing. So he pushed these buttons, and it just goes to show. It just unveiled, just unveiled, just pulled back the skin of this oozing pus sore. That you know maybe maybe it, maybe we saw it, but we didn't see it so glaring. You know the racism, all the shit, and then now we're gonna see them. Now we're seeing what the real shit is going on here. This is all money upon money upon money. You know he he's gotta fucking do. So, he's gotta pay back the favors to, to the Russians. That's what it looks like. I don't know. Listen, I'm just telling you from the Brooklyn Teddy perspective, all right? Listen, I may have dropped out of high school, and that was another story, but holy shit, do I have a college education if you only knew what the fuck I had to do. But anyway, that's another story, baby. But anyway, it's just, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. Do people read anymore? Do people, like, you know, but read, like, something other than the fake news? And this guy's post stuff from Fox News and Bright. Like, come on, man. Listen, if you're an intelligent human being, if you're an American, uh, and uh, uh, listen, don't don't follow any one particular fucking news feed, okay? Vary yourself. Get some knowledge. Figure it out. Do a little digging. They're all bullshitting us. They're all bullshitting us one way or another, all right? That's my paranoia. 
And like I said, Hillary fucked over Bernie. Okay, I was rooting for Bernie. Okay, but in 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 one sense, I was thinking this this um like this boiling, festering shit that was underneath. Right, it was there. Right, and when they saw Trump. They were like. Yeah, we're gonna see that, and then and then the the fundamentalist rice right just uh, Trojan horses their way right into the campaign, and the Russians are there, and he's using this. I don't know what well, uh, what the fuck does religion have to do with? Our, isn't isn't that what the forefathers? A separation between church and state. Render unto God what is God, and render unto Caesar what is Caesar. Come on, man, this is fucking bullshit too. All right. Keep your religious shit to yourself. You don't want your, your your daughter to fucking not have an abortion, then fucking you talk to her. You're a parent. You want to live under those rules? You fucking live under those rules. Stop putting your shit on other people and all this other, you know, fake sky daddy shit. But that's another story. That's another fucking story. So then um, a Comey comes out and he goes, uh, yeah, well, you know, uh, you know, Trump said, uh, <laughs> so they're going to have to call him in. And I don't think he's dumb. And and they, 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 the, 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 the tagline was, that you know, Comey was hated. It was uh, unliked at the F, and it turns out he was well liked for whatever reason. And listen, I'm not, I'm not promoting you know Comey, but there's a lot of shit. And if you're gonna fire this guy, that's a fucking lot better way than do it than that. That's fucking stupid. So we have Sessions, we have, and Pence has got to be in it too. He what? Or he's hiding out. He's hiding out behind his wife that he calls mother. What? I don't know. Everything's little. Everything's a fucking crazy. This is going to make a, a really funny comedy if we don't get blown up in the process when they make the movie, you know? It's, it's, just, it's just absurd. But anyway, we'll see what, what happens now. Trumpy's over there. This guy, you know, uh, Comey's saying, hey, listen, he told me to, you know, take that all that Russian stuff, just kick it under the rug, you know what I mean? For now, you know, whatever. It's just going to blow up in everybody's face. I'm just waiting to see. I'm just standing back and just checking it out. But. To be unaware and not think about it and go, oh, I've had too much is kind of dumb too, all right? Overwhelming yourself with this, all this stuff too will drive you crazy. Um, and uh, I don't know. I, 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 I find it entertaining. I've had to just cut it off because it's just, you're like, what? This is, this is the world? This is, this is my country? This is my country? What the fuck have you done? This land is your land and this land is my land from the California to the New York Island, and the Redwood Forest, to the Gulf Stream waters, this land was made for you and me. Sing it, sing it there, sing it there, sing it, oh yeah, all right, so calm down a little bit there, yeah, oh man. Uh, all right, so, all right, let, let me fill you in. Uh, so, you know, uh, uh, I'm enamored with uh, New Jersey and the, and the, and the, the forthcoming, you know, cannabis greening of, of this. Uh, and we're waiting for, you know, uh, Governor Fathead to uh, vamoose and go into the darkness there. Maybe him and Trump can roll up in a ball and fly away. I don't know. <laughs> oh, anyway, sorry about that. So, um, sorry, that's another um. Okay. So what I wanted to talk about was uh, so recently uh, Sen- uh, State Senator Nick Scolari, I think that's his name, yeah, presented a bill uh, so to open up the discussion because in eight months, you know, Governor Fathead will be gone from New Jersey and hopefully we can make some strides and figure this out. Uh, so uh, like I said, all the Democratic uh, candidates are, yes, legalization. So, but there is some stuff in the bill. All right, so... Uh, of course, you know, 21 years over, that you uh, cannabis will be legalized for, uh, for adult use. Uh, you can have up to one ounce. You can have up to 16 ounces of edibles, which is, you know, that's, you know, that's like brownies or you know, coconut oil or whatever. But whatever, okay. But there, uh, the stipulation is no home grow. So right there, uh, that's already a, a, a signaling, like, hey. We're going to make this. This is just for the money. <laughs> you know, there's a lot, you know, there's a lot of money to be made here. So we're not going to let you fucking grow a plant because we know we can make money off of it. Uh, so that already is kind of shady. But whatever. Hopefully we can hammer it out. And uh, even if that doesn't come to pass, I think we could fight it, do something. We could fix this. OK, so there was a there was a, a few news reports about it, this and that. And I had to put my two cents in. 
Uh, so I, I, I suggest you do the same thing. If you are interested or a part in the, in the New Jersey area, you know, uh, send, send him a little, uh, a little note there on Facebook, social media. You can email him. So it's Senator uh, Nick Scolari here in uh, New Jersey. So if you're interested in that shit, you know, let him know. That's bullshit. I mean, they can make rest- restrictions. I think the only, and the, the, only other, the only state that I know that's legal that doesn't let you uh, home grow, I think it's Washington. But D.C., uh, the home of Beauregard right now, uh, you can home grow. And every other place, pretty much. I'm pretty much sure that every other place. So, yeah, so, see, uh, yeah, not, not Washington, but uh, Portland, uh, Oregon, I'm sorry, and all that, uh, California, blah, 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 blah. You know, I'm not going to bore you with all the states that are legal. But, uh, and, and they, they I, and I think recently Colorado, what they did was they had some crazy, you can have 99 plants. Okay. So whatever, they want to cut it down because of this and that. And, all right, but even, even that's that screwed up for the for people who had the 99 plans. are like, oh, shit. But now they can have, at least, uh, what is it? They broke it down to 12. I think D.C. is sick. I mean, come on, man. If you can brew your own fucking beer, okay, you can go and get, brew beer, okay? Why can't I grow a plant? Why? Why, 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 all right? Uh, because I know what's going on, all right? You you just want to get it through the market and just let you know pay 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 you decide the price and all that stuff and then anyone that's growing or what doing doing that stuff you're gonna to try to make them illegal so maybe we can uh, fix that up so I I, uh, I if you can you know reach out to these people here like normal and there's a New Jersey N J U M R marijuana New Jersey something marijuana reform they're involved and there's the New Jersey National Business Association or some shit like that. They're all a Google, Google or Facebook. They're all on there. Let them know, like, hey, listen, you know, wh- you know, what's going on here? We, we, we appreciate that it's getting legal, but what is this little stipulation here, and why is that stipulation there uh, for minimal grows or whatever? You know, it's it's a, and ladies and gentlemen, it's a plant, and I can pretty much guarantee you that most people, except for the you know the weed nerds out there. Uh, uh, the, the, the stuff they're going to grow is not going to be as potent as the shit you're going to get in the stores. Because to, 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 to actually uh, get the plant to produce all that cycle and get it nice and juicy and whatever and make it get to that level, it, it's a lot. It's kind of a lot of hard work. You kind of have to have complete control of the plant and uh, 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 micronutrients and uh, micro atmosphere for it and, you know, all kinds of stuff that go into it. And, you know, it's crazy. You're not just dropping a seed in dirt and growing and woo. And like I said, the plant used to grow everywhere, everywhere. And in my, my beautiful hometown of Brooklyn, back in the day before I was born, <laughs> it was growing rampant all over the place. It was just fucking weed. It was just a weed that grew. Yeah, some people smoked it. I bet you it was like dirt weed anyway. And then there's the, the famous story where uh, the prohibitionist asshole who just stopped having prohibition over alcohol, Anslinger, he commissions uh, the uh, Governor LaGuardia of New York City, you know, LaGuardia Airport, that guy, the little short guy, you can go see his uh, statue there in the village and uh, bow down to it every once in a while. Uh, he came up with uh, all the information and saying, yeah, there's nothing, there's, there's, what, this thing grows wild everywhere, no, nobody's... Nobody's killing anybody or doing anything. What are you talking about? You know, it's like a poor man's cigarette. They'll smoke it out. You get a little, and that's it. Keep going. What, you created a monster. We didn't. didn't uh, there was no need for it. But anyway, I, I, it's like one of those things. Like yay with one hand and boo with the other. Like what the fuck, man? But anyway, uh, there's some great strides being made. And it's just to me, I, I don't know. It just it's just very sad that at this point in this in in, in the world, and then we are faced with uh, a general. Uh, uh, attorney general like Jeff said, you know, Jeff, this is just, come on. But I guess it's exposing. There's this, this just this archaic and just unintellectual and just like, come on, man. So, so, so stupid, man. What's going on with my country? This land is your land. Anyway, talking about land, I ran across this uh, interesting thing here. Uh, of course, you know, uh, this, this is, just talks about re- re- retiring, but I, I'm just thinking like, you know, if you just wanted to leave the United States in a little while or, you know, set up shop somewhere else and just chill out. So this this was like uh, not so much that it goes. For, it, basically, what it's talking about is uh, paying property taxes and all that stuff. Uh, and I don't know. They they focus this on retirees. But, hey, listen, nowadays I, I'm hearing that uh, the millennials are just getting away from the city because it's too expensive. 
because especially New York because you know Trump brought all the Russians and they brought all the, bought up all the all the all the good property and raising the rents and everything. You know the oligarchs are are, are the ones that are buying everything up. Oh, did you see that cute stuff there? I don't know if I mentioned on the last podcast last podcast with uh, Jared's uh, sister there. <laughs> You know, if you pay $150,000, wink, wink, you know, I have connections and you can get your citizenship, you know, you know, don't, don't, you don't have to go through the, over the wall. If you have the money, if you have the cash, baby, and you invest in us, you give us a hundred, you know, we'll work it out. You get that EB5 thing. Yeah, sure. You're going to create jobs. Yeah, sure. Ha ha ha. Effing, uh, effing hilarious. Ha 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 ha. But anyway. So I found this elite little list, uh, and and actually one of the states that they uh, put up there, which is legal, Alaska, legal for cannabis, uh, is Alaska. Uh, I don't know, but uh, I didn't know that there was no, there's no, uh, there's no income tax, no uh, or sale tax or state tax. Uh, you're, wow, what I didn't know that. That's pretty. That's pretty intense. But who can deal? And then you get a check from the state because of its oil worth, oil wealth. So I don't know if you can work that out. I don't know, Alaska. I don't know. Pretty chilling, but uh, interesting. Uh, Florida, I would never forget that. Uh, they have Mississippi on there. So Mississippi is another Southern choice with no income tax, a Social Security, IRA, pensions, or annuity taxes. And Texas offers a say. Oh, no way. Forget about that. That's not working out for me. And then we come to beautiful Costa Rica. Now you're moving out of the country. That sounds interesting. Uh, luckily for me, I can... Uh, Speak Spanish, so I don't know. Let's see. Uh, so Costa Rica, but your re- retirement money, or well, whatever. Uh, if you buy a home, their property tax will run about a point twenty five percent. People in New Jersey must be going, "What the fuck?" Property tax here is fucking ridiculous. I don't, I don't even know what it's for. Like they don't even tell you. I don't even know. There's potholes all over the fucking place. We got we asked the the city to fucking fix a pothole in front of a house. They put it on PSENG. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Get them to come and do it. But I go, wait a minute. Uh, Oh, we would have done it if we we'll, we'll just do it. What, what I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, so there uh, there's no capital gains tax if you sell, but the country has a 13 percent sale tax. All right. So listen, what the fuck? You're getting all this other stuff. I don't. Know, you can get a housekeeper for two dollars an hour. I don't know. Costa Rica is looking pretty interesting, baby. I don't know. And I I think they let you keep your passport. What was that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they uh, let you keep your U.S. passport. And oh, Malaysia. Nah, I'm not going there. Uh, Panama, maybe, I don't know. I think Costa Rica is the move. Let's see. Where else? Ecuador, nah, maybe, but no. Philippines, forget it. There they, there if you caught, you caught smoking a joint, they'll fucking shoot you dead. They got some crazy fucking president there. More garbage. Garbage. Thailand, uh-oh, it's kind of spooky. Oh, did you guys see that? Somebody took a picture of the king of Thailand. Homeboy's wearing a yellow bippy top, <laughs> tank top, walking around. Tattooed up, boy, ta- all like this. I don't know. Looking a little, I don't know, funky, funky there. But um, he got all upset. He got all upset. Oh, they caught me. They caught me in my Sunday casuals. And uh, yeah, he got really upset. And I don't, I don't understand. It's, it's, it's not the land of the lady, boy. I don't know. I thought I'd be a little more relaxed on some things, but maybe I don't know too much about Thailand. But yeah, so uh, the king felt like he was being embarrassed. <laughs> so, dude, what are you doing walking around like that? You feel embarrassed. Now you should just let your freak flag fly. And there, if you somehow embarrass the king, you're just like a life sentence in prison. <laughs> like, what the fuck, man? So, dude, why would you walk? If, if it's that, what, why would you walk around like that? But anyway, I don't know. I thought I thought it would be kind of cool. I'd be like, yo, I got a cool king, man. Look, he just chills out with the people. He's wearing his little bippy top there. He's got, he's tatted up. Yo, king, what's up, man? He'd be like, oh, cool. Like, Want to get a tattoo? Let's go get a royal tattoo together. <laughs> Something. But no, he got upset. Oh, but anyway, Thailand, interesting. I don't, I'd like to visit there one day, you know. I don't know. Hang out with old Bippy Top. Uh, uh, Uruguay. Uruguay sounds very interesting. That's another one. And luckily, uh, for you Spanish speakers, that might be something to look into or start learning. Learn another language, motherfucker. You know what I mean? I don't understand. Like, in the United States, it's almost a prejudice if you if you know another language. I don't know. Like, what? What? Anyway, uh, for all those people who only know one language, at least try to at least try to learn another language. You know, your your brain might expand. You know, you might you might grow some brain cells instead of you know taking your pills and killing killing those brain cells that the doctor gave you and he's over prescribing and now you're addicted and then he pulls the plug on you and then you got to go find some heroin and then they arrest you and then they just keep the cycle going and then you'll go to jail and work and somehow you end up working and doing something for those same drug companies and then. You know, and we all know 
We all know. I, I have to do a fur- further investigation. I don't know why this is not just just exploding on the news and because it's a lot of money involved. I know there's a lot of hush money because we know Afghanistan, those beautiful poppy fields just blowing in the wind, getting ready. Remember that? Remember that shit? Remember? Remember with the fake the fake Ira- Iraqi freedom, all that shit going on in Afghanistan? And then they showed it. I'm like, why? And then the, the statistic that, you know, the Taliban, of course, the Taliban is fucking, you know, that's like the, the worst of the worst right there. As far as, uh, you know, having any fun or <laughs> whatever the fuck, sick bastards. The the opium dropped because, you know, there's they, no, no, because drugs, this and that, da, da, da. And then U.S. comes, the fucking propagation of opium goes skyrocket, skyrocketing. And then, of course, yeah, you know, somehow we're in a huge opioid addiction thing here. And uh, Jeff Session is still talking about cannabis. Fucking moron. But anyway, uh we 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 digress here on the on the Brooklyn Teddy podcast, uh, and I think that was it. Uruguay, Uruguay does sound interesting. I'm going to look into that, and I know they've pretty much decriminalized, or you can get. I don't know. They I saw a whole thing on Vice where one of the dudes there smoked a he smoked a joint uh, in front of the president. And the president was like, I'm not impressed, and he wanted to smoke a a cigar. You know what I mean? <laughs> Great. Great, good for you. So you smoke a cigar, I'll smoke a joint. But you know, we'll meet in the middle. <laughs> what the fuck? But they, 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 they regulate some st- stuff there, and of course, there's people that are against it because of this regulation, that relation. But Uruguay sounds pretty interesting too. Uh, talking about talking about Uruguay, Uruguay, and then what did I have? I had something else here. Oh yeah, another crazy, crazy story here. If you haven't uh, had a chance, I'm going to bring you this. Uh, I got two more, two more. Oh, this one's pretty cool. So I ran across this uh, thing. So so off the grid. So this couple. So they're so off the grid that can even they're not they're off the land. These guys built this like this massive houseboat thing uh, in the uh, Vancouver Island off the Vancouver Island about twenty five years ago, and it looks like a a hippie paradise. All right, an amazing hippie paradise. I don't know. So there's a couple there, and it's just like they kind of pontooned together of these little houseboats together, and they have gardens that they live off of there, and they pretty much just live off that. Pretty amazing, and the pictures are pretty cool. They, they it's all like, uh, they painted it all like blue and uh, fuchsia color and whatever, and it's really, 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 really cool. Uh, they even have a, a hole in the middle of the, the the living room there you can fish. It, I, I don't know. I I thought this was pretty fucking amazing. You know, uh, I'll post it there on BrooklynTeddy dot uh, com. You can check it out uh, and um, just check it out. I'm gonna try to pull some uh, video audio audio video stuff here and, and see see if I can. Uh, do it live on the air. Let's see if we can do that. All right, hold on. Hello, everyone. I'm Wayne Adams, and I'm Catherine King, and we're speaking to you from Freedom Cove, where we have lived for 25 years. What made us decide to live how we are? is that we're both people who love nature, we're both carvers, artists, we're inspired by nature. And in exploring this area, we talked to other people who were floating, and we found that to be in nature without interfering with us, floating was the best way to go. We were on a holiday, actually, from Tofino, staying in a cabin two miles from here. And what had happened at that point, we were just going to do a two-week vacation while he was staying in our place in Tofino, finishing off a sculpture for public display. And a storm came along. And uh, the neighbor not far away had a huge pile of lumber that washed into the ocean. And I spent two weeks with my little boat picking it up and putting it on shore. And I went to him when I had it all gathered up. I said, I've got your lumber scattered, <laughs> scattered everywhere. And he said, Wayne, you found it. You can have it. So that basically on the beach there, I started building a little studio for us. And well, the thing about living here for me is my job every day is to get up in the morning. And it's, it's like floating a small farm. Uh, I have chores to do. Uh, I, I have managed to bring pipes to the island. Uh, I have a gravity-fed water system, so we have no pumps. Our water source is 50 feet above us at a little lake. So it's an ideal location and, and the opportunity to have a garden and be more self-sufficient is because we have one. And we have uh, two sources of power. We have the generator and our solar systems. 
and when we have a good sunny day we can just be completely on solar on days that it's raining we have to have the generator going people often often ask what do we do with our waste i have a floating tank and it gets towed out every six months and brought back in storms for me aren't scary they're invigorating and you're on alert we're very fortunate in this cove uh, we picked it because it is the most protected spot in the area so we don't get high waves but we do get strong winds that rock it in and whip around so wayne has us tied together in a spider web formation with ropes to shore and he has weights on the ropes and the weights slow down the impact of the wind and the formation allows the whole system to move in one piece. This was uh, a learning by doing experience. Our first couple of years, we didn't know to do that. And we were often up in the middle of the night with buildings banging together and having to retie ropes, but then we figured it out. When people come to see our place and walk through it, that is what our message is to them, to inspire them to follow their own dreams, whatever they are, and to know that they can do it. It just takes inspiration, then the hard work to do it, and uh, the trusting in yourself. To so there you go, uh, a little inspiration there. I guess I'll, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it at that. I, pu I pulled it out for you. That's an edited version of the audio. I'll, I'll put a, a link to the actual news story there. You can watch the rest of the video and kind of... Uh, Figure this out yourself and just check it out. I don't know. I thought it was kind of uplifting, you know, with all this Trump shit and Comey and this and oh, what the fuck and blah, blah, blah that, you know, that's going on here. Uh, here's a couple just kind of living off the grid just out there, you know, dealing, they're still dealing with shit. You know what I mean? There's wild animals there and all that kind of stuff in there. But I don't know. It just, it just seems something better to worry about than what the fuck, you know. Your TV, your Instagram, your Facebook, all that other shit. Uh, and while I say that, uh, you know, head on over to brooklyntelly.com. You can help the podcast there. Uh, you can um, help for as little as $1 a month. You can help out the podcast. So check it out. I'll be posting a YouTube version on there. I'll post this kind of stuff on there. Uh, go head on over to brooklyntelly.com and check it out. Uh, you can also hit me up on uh, the Twitter at brooklynteddy13 on Twitter. And, of course, there's always Facebook. Facebook.com slash Brooklyn Teddy Podcast. And with that, I love you all. Until next time, bye-bye.